how to stretch or shrink the graph both horizontally and vertically. For c greater than 1, c times f of x will stretch the graph of f of x vertically by a factor of c. For c between 0 and 1, c f of x shrinks the graph of f of x vertically by a factor of c. If we multiplied by a negative c, we would either stretch or shrink according to the absolute value of c, and then reflect to account for the negative sign. Let's consider the graph of f of x equal to 2x squared. This we're going to stretch by a factor of 2. So we're going to start with our graph of x squared and vertically stretch by a factor of 2, which means all of our y coordinates will essentially get multiplied by 2. Here I have my graph. This first one here, this green one, this is the graph of f of x equal to x squared. 2 times 0 is 0, so it still passes through the origin. 2 times 1 is 2, so everything that was at a y equal to 1 value gets moved up to y equal to 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so everything that was at this 2 value gets moved up to a 4 value. And we continue this idea. We multiply all of the y coordinates by 2, and that tells us what the new y coordinate should be. Next, let's look at f of x equal to 1 half x squared. This time, since we're multiplying by 1 half, we're going to vertically shrink by a factor of 1 half. Here I have the graph of x squared with this green line, and I'm going to multiply all of my y coordinates by 1 half. 1 times 1 half is 1 half, so the new y coordinate of those points is 1 half. 2 times 1 half is 1, so the new y coordinates of all of those points are 1. 3 times 1 half is 1 and a half, so those are the new y coordinates of these values. 4 times 1 half is 2, so that's the new y coordinate of these values. We're shrinking everything vertically by a factor of 1 half. Now let's talk about stretching or shrinking horizontally. For c greater than 1, to graph f of c of x, we need to shrink the graph of f of x horizontally by a factor of 1 over c. So this time multiplying x by a number greater than 1 caused me to shrink the graph. Multiplying by a number between 0 and 1 is going to stretch the graph horizontally by a factor of 1 over c. So horizontal stretching and shrinking is counterintuitive to what we want it to be. Multiplying by bigger numbers shrinks the horizontal graph, whereas multiplying by smaller numbers will stretch it horizontally. Let's consider the graph of f of x equal to 2x squared. Since the 2 is inside of the x squared and it's with the x, that tells us it's going to be a horizontal transformation. In particular, since 2 is greater than 1, we're going to shrink horizontally by a factor of 1 half, since it's backwards from what we want it to be. Here, we have the graph of x squared, and I'm going to horizontally shrink my x coordinates. So negative 1 times 1 half would be negative 1 half. Negative 2 times 1 half would be negative 1. On the other side, 1 times 1 half is 1 half, and 2 times 1 half is 1. So we can see that we're shrinking this graph horizontally by a factor of 1 half. Let's look at f of x equal to 1 half x squared. Once again, the 1 half is with the x, so that tells me it's going to be horizontal. 
Since I'm multiplying by one half and one half is smaller than one, we're gonna horizontally stretch the graph, in this case by a factor of two. Here, I have the graph of x squared and we want to horizontally stretch. So we look at our x coordinates, negative one times two is negative two. Negative two times two is negative four. On the other side, one times two is two, and two times two is four. So now we've horizontally stretched this graph by a factor of two. If you would like to see Professor Pierce make more videos like this one, you can support her on Patreon in the link below. Any and all support means a lot to her. It allows her not only to make more videos, but it also allows her to campaign for free and accessible online education to conferences and other universities. Thank you for watching, and remember, math is for everyone.